Virgo. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much. Oh, your cards are slippery. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Christine Virgo. Before we get started, just a little disclaimer that today I am still a little bit under the weather. So yeah, my voice is a little bit croaky. If you hear some squeaking and a squawking, it's all right, just so so you know. Yeah, just even laughing, I can tell it's a little bit off, but I feel fine, so there we go. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Virgo tarot reading. Virgo love tarot reading. Virgo, look what has just revealed under the deck, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Is somebody coming in here kind of out of the blue? with an offer, with a commitment offer. It's a pentacle, it's around commitment energy. And you know, look at that going underneath that floral kind of laurel wreath archway opening. You know, it's going in here, it's a new beginning. And it's the lover's card, Gemini energy, Venus energy. It's Archangel Raphael, the angel for healing. What is broken coming in here? soulmate energy if you're on a twin flame journey the energy is here it's not for everybody but it's here and are they coming in here with a love offer restoring harmony fixing what is broken bringing an offer in here let's see it's super early it could be that it's not maybe it's maybe they're spinning around maybe they're in reverse we'll know more as we go about your reading today that's far too many virgo Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. This is your Virgo tarot reading. Welcome again. Your Virgo love tarot reading, love reading, Virgo love reading. And as is very often the case at the tarot closet, Virgo love messages. Channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Virgo, I'm channeling for you in October. Boy. 2023 and you could be here in real time you could also be here many months even years later and the reason for that is this is a timeless reading this is a faded connection virgo you're here when you're meant to be here it means there's a message for you so welcome we're going to continue on with a few things i need to say but i want to show you here look the four of swords and the high priestess energy so yeah no contact and or in separation, we can see the Three of Swords here uh, is here. So there's some heartbreak around this connection, some loss for some of you that might be even a legal connection, but it's a sadness around it. And it's also the High Priestess energy, a choice coming up here. Somebody coming in, possibly, we saw that in the Lover's card and the Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy there, of coming in with sort of like a renewal energy, I want to say, and what are you wanting to do here? Divine feminine energy, cancer energy, it's the high priestess, it's things being revealed, and of course, it's trusting yourself. How long has this been going on, or how long have you maybe been waiting to hear from your person? Something just wanted to show itself, the Ten of Swords, okay, interesting, and that's what is underneath there, it's wanting to show, okay, yeah, so there's some obstacles and some challenges that have been in this connection, and it, it was quite a difficult ending, and it can be that somebody, you, possibly your person as well, both of you in alignment in that energy still, the Ten of Swords is the Sun in Gemini, and yeah, it's, you can't get any more swords in, you know, so it's a new cycle, so are they coming in here? and making an offer. Let's see, it's it's pretty strong. Let's see what's coming through. Virgo, all the decks that you might be interested in that are coming in today are linked below. Down in the description, you'll also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs, messages from your person, messages from their higher self, and a lot more, so feel free to check anything out, including, by the way, if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long and very in-depth twin flame readings as well. So feel free to check out the playlist if you're interested. Look at this. It's the Three of Swords, and look when I do this, and the Eight of Wands. It's an apology. It's a message. It's an, somebody wanting to apologize. Communicate an apology to you. 
It's the Three of Swords. Now, could it be that it's spinning? Yeah, 100%, because there is a break of energy here. We saw that, a loss in this connection, a heartbreak, you know, a sadness around what happened, and a message coming in, or just communication in general. It's Mercury and Sagittarius energy, and it's a really fast energy. And Mercury, of course, is the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, connected your ruling planet as well, Virgo, and of course, Gemini as well. And that's oftentimes connected to reading and writing. So it can be that it's a message, but it can also just be communication coming in here really fast. Something to say, we know they want to apologize. Is that the offer that we saw? I don't know. I mean, it's the lover's card and the ace of pentacles. You know, that's holding something pretty particular. Okay, so we're going to, I think I'm done. I think I'm done shuffling, yeah. Remember, this is a general tarot reading, so take what is for you and let the rest go. And I would be really grateful if you took the time, I'm gonna do some hand moving here, hand shuffling, if you took the time to like today's video, <laughs> having a brain fart, and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. It really helps keep the channel moving. So thank you so much for that. And it goes without saying thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it as, of course, it came back. That is, yeah, showing your support. And I, I really appreciate it. I love you very much. So thank you for being here and watching today. Let's see. The Lover's card has returned. And again, Gemini energy, Mercury energy. Somebody here is coming in with an offer, Virgo. It's pretty clear. The energy felt really particularly strong for me, and that's why, because it's back, it's a validation. So soulmate energy, and for those of you on a twin flame journey, again, it's not for everybody, but it's a really strong love, and it's coming into union and harmony here. Is this just via message? Is it more your energies? Let's see, it's Archangel Raphael was making a point to be here today. The angel for healing, what is broken? Somebody here preparing for a love offer. It feels a whole lot like they are. Yeah, there's, look, it's the three of wands in the upright. This is the sun and Aries energy. So it's an energy of expansion and can be physical travel as they look here out to the horizon, looking here at the ships. There's three here. It's the divine. Yeah. Somebody also, it's kind of waiting for the ship to come in, energy. You know, and that's a divine number and divine timing. They're holding on to it very much, contemplating it. You know, this is an energy also of teamwork, you know, of taking things farther. So what are they coming here to offer, you know? And are there other parties involved? You know, sometimes that can be the case. It's not always going to be the case. And it can be romantic, but it can even just be... Um, something within themselves, you know, uh, conflicting energies, work, money, family of origin, cultural, religious differences, whatever the case. But they're holding on here and, yeah, getting ready, I feel, to move forward. And that's the sun energy and that's toward the outcome. And that's the happy outcome, wanting to make, yeah, to like a, get what do I want to Go for what I want energy. And as I say that, spirit just sometimes has a sense of humor. Yeah, it's the magician energy. And that is staying here today because it was coming in before it came in. And it's really clear this is going for what you want. It's a manifesting soulmate energy here. This is them coming in. It's super, super clear, Virgo. Gemini, Virgo, you're here as well in Mercury. It's turning visions into reality. It's taking the inspired action and going and getting what they want. There's a lot of reunion energy here. It's quite focused, you know, and the magician has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire, which of course is bringing everybody in. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, and all, all the, everything that goes along with that earth, fire, um, earth, earth, <laughs> I always think of earth, wind, and fire, earth, fire, air, and water energy, you know, and it's alchemizing that, balancing out divine feminine and divine masculine energies and coming into union, coming into union, and, well, yeah, balancing things out and making that choice, and that eight is around, 
infinity, of course, but also it's an action number. And, well, yeah, it's accomplishing something here and it's manifesting. It's manifesting abundance and it's abundantly um, ba -da -dum -bum, clear today that that is what's going on. It's a new beginning. It's the potential that is still here and taking the opportunity. And boy, do they have a lot to say. Um, healing energy. Wow. Okay. So there has been some denial here. Look, we're seeing this. Oh, and the Ace of Wands coming in reverse. A lot of loss. A little bit of stuck energy. Okay, we're going to be getting more. But I am just kind of want to slow down a little bit here just to sort of catch up. So... We saw the Knight of Swords coming in. It's right below here, the Lover's card. So this is, you know, coming in, wanting to change everything. A whole lot to say here. This is Libra and Mercury energy. Of course, it's Libra again. It's that balancing energy because the infinity symbol connects us to that, by the way. Uh, yeah, I was going to say a lot of soul connection energy here today. And that's the truth. And you know, that's coming from a place of balancing, balancing out the divine feminine, divine masculine energies, the yin yang energy, and being able to, to come from a place of balance. It's like, did, did something just change? And they're running here because the Ace of Wands is in reverse. So it, it just telling me that there's been some false, there's been some delays in this communication, which we know it's extremely clear. And maybe even even some false starts and it's been rough. So maybe some message came in and disappeared or they wrote and then they didn't, you wrote and they didn't write back again, you know, or you're noticing kind of things being booped. That's what that is for me here today. And that's Aries Leo in Sagittarius energy. And it's like kind of hot and cold here. So, and it's coming right below the lover's card. And it's just like so much to say and wanting to change everything here. Some fear. I mean, look how fast they're coming in. So it's sort of like, too, maybe there's some interesting. There might be some nocturnal energy that's coming around somebody at particular times of the day or night when they might be feeling a little more brave for some reason or the other, coming in, changing their mind, that sort of thing. It's here. But this, you know, this is a white horse, which can be seen, a lot of you might think of that as, you know, a, literally a knight in shining armor, right? Definitely not the vibes I'm getting here today. And it's a really emotional horse as well. You know, they, they're really yanking on that harness and got the sword up and they're like, I'm going to get there. And they've got their, their, their armor on, some triggering, some mirroring. They're, they're coming in with a thought to say here. And it also might be an intense conversation that's coming, you know, and literally coming out of nowhere. And we see that it's kind of that energy again of like false starts if maybe like coming in and out but there can be a brutal energy sometimes around this so it can be that there's a lot of things that need to be said or heard and I think that might be the case because look what is here also it's the queen of cups and this is where your person's energy is the strongest Virgo it's cancer energy and well yeah it's it's a really emotionally available emotionally nurturing, healing, supportive energy. So they're, it's funny because how they're coming in here, it's like, whoa, but that's not really how I, who I feel like this person is. They does, there's a connection here of how they're coming in with this offer. And we saw that with the Ace of Pentacles as well. And of course, the lover's card validating and coming in here again, that this is necessary. You know, that the emotional, connection and the hurt here feels quite strong. This is somebody who's been in denial about what? What exactly? Because we see them contemplating here and maybe that's why it's slowed down because this is Archangel Gabriel. You know, it's the angel for messages, the herald of visions. Wake up, get some clarity. What do you want? It's Pluto energy. And of course it's a 20 and that's coming to a two and it's around the partnership. It's around the two of you. You know, and it's in reverse here. So that's also because that's an energy of, of imbalance as well. You know, it's an energy of uh, being afraid, still feeling not quite ready. And you can see that there's a lot of wands, a lot of what's going on in everybody's life, but also around your person's energy of getting ready to put these wands down. But it's an, um, kind of an, a stressful energy. You know what I mean? As they sit here and try to figure this out, we see where, where it's going. It's just really clear really very clear to me 
here with the magician, but it's kind of like, let's go. I'm going for this. I'm getting it. And then judgment is here further down the line. So just still being a little bit afraid. And you can see that's what's, and you can see it also here again in the Knight of Swords. So it's afraid of the communication or whatnot, but yeah, you know, look what is here also with the healing energy that we know um, that is super necessary here. Uh, it's so necessary to have this conversation and it might be an intense conversation, but I like that it's feels like a healing conversation in the end, you know, in the end of it all. And the hermit energy connected here with the five of pentacles. Of course, major arcana and Virgo, that is your energy. And you can be in here as well, your person definitely. And I think you kind of are both there because it's where you go for clarity and it's where you go to figure out what you want, spiritual illumination, because there's a loss around this connection. You know, the separation here, quite literally, it's a card of loss and it's also the lack of communicating mercury energy coming through with both cards. And look, there's the star being held up here by the hermit. And it's kind of like bringing in star energy and that's holding it up. And it is because it's hope for renewal and trying to get the clarity. That's the star energy coming through, by the way, that Aquarius energy, the Uranus energy. But you know, what's coming after the hermit, <laughs> the wheel of fortune. And that's, you know, a turning point and things changing. And the opportunity that's here. So I do feel that things are changing and it feels a lot like this can be a connection changing, a relationship changing, a life changing conversation, something that is eventually going to be taking place and things being brought forward. What kind of offer is that? And it might be coming literally out of the blue here. I got to tell you, it's an energy because it's an unexpected energy and we've seen it. It's come in here and validated and come in twice uh, it's necessary. Yeah, again, and it's moving, coming out of this energy and having this conversation and things changing and moving into that Wheel of Fortune energy, which is also that new beginning. And in particular, Wheel of Fortune connected to Jupiter energy, which is that expansive energy, which we see here that everyone's waiting for. And that has been kind of like, you know, slowed down, delayed. That's what I want to say. But this is the, the loss, you know, and the worry around this, this connection and just trying to figure out the next move, both your person. And I do feel, of course, that you're here. You know, the hermit is looking right down at the scene, almost like at everything that happened. And as things are changing here in the five of pentacles. So, yeah, it's obviously an energy of things Changing. I want to move the energy around and I'm going to, yeah, see what else is wanting to come through. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Well, it's wanting to show the king of swords in reverse. First of all, I just wanted to show you that on <laughs> the bottom of the deck. So that's not surprising because we know that there is no communication right now, but we also know that that is changing. And it's been kind of in and out too. That's the thing. You know, it's Gemini energy and it's Mercury energy, you know, it's communication. So again, it can be that there, there was some communication. There's not maybe even messages, not here, but this is a validation. We didn't really need to see it, but it wanted to show of where things have been. Let's do that again. That's what I'm hearing. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards, I hope. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. Wow. All right. <laughs> Sound kind of funny. Ooh, ah, okay. These are yours too. What's coming at the bottom? It's the five of swords in reverse here. Just wanted to show itself. Like, who? Venus and Aquarius energy. So this is making peace. Some of you may have had some arguing. It's not going to be for everyone or it's just the lack of communication or something that was said. So there is apologetic energy. I really like that. You obviously very much love each other and they are coming in here with an offer, Virgo. It's really clear. Look where the Knight of Swords is heading. Right here to the Two of Cups. This is Venus and Cancer energy and this is an offer and it can be that there is a marriage proposal coming in here. It won't be for everybody. 
but it's proposal energy. You obviously love each other and it's very much a decision here. And this proposal can be this conversation or even the conversation leading to let's meet, let's talk. Oh, I'm gonna see you here. Some of you might be seeing your person at an event or maybe that's the plan. This can be around family and friends. You know, it doesn't mean that it is, but it is the energy that's here. And it's a reunion energy. And it's, um, I wanna say soulmate energy coming in. It can be a marriage card, you know? Maybe that for some of you, if you see your person at that type of event, it's gonna conjure up and bring up a lot of stuff for the both of you. So that won't be for everyone, but that, I gotta say, it can be for some of you that you're gonna see your person or if there's even a plan of that. But the main thing here, and I want to see what's here too, is that it's a homecoming energy and it's a reunion energy. You know, it's Venus and Aries energy and it's the soulmate and coming in together. And that's the, well, yeah, I mean, that's coming together. Reunion energy again. So whether that is around other people or not, or it's just in a message coming together, you clearly... You clearly love each other. Look, it's right here. Also interesting here with the Ace of Wands in reverse. So, so kind of like delays, you know, maybe something that for some of you too, you were going to see them at and you didn't. But again, it's not going to be for everybody that you see each other at an actual event. It's just, it's that reunion energy of coming together here when you're getting out of there. I feel like that wheel of fortune is spinning, but it's an intense conversation, I feel. It's gonna be like, there's a lot of revealing energy. And by the way, yeah, look, they're getting ready to put those 10 wands down. You know, that's the new cycle. It's the new beginning. It's the, the opportunity they're gonna take here to get the most out of this. There's still a lot of potential here. And that's the energy of love. You know, it's a fast energy too. So it's getting to that. Um, well, and this 10 is deducing into a one. It's getting here to this magician energy quite fast. Look, as they come unstuck. Jupiter and Gemini energy, what they have been holding themselves back from doing and it's un coming unstuck here. So somebody in some karmic energy that they've had to work, work some things out. What is that a particular round of person? A thing you're gonna know um, but it's clearly very clearly here in this eight you know there's karma around that it's also of course number of action and accomplishing something and infinity it's you know connecting us to of course the infinity symbol a particular kind of love but also balancing the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies and coming in here and moving forward manifesting energy here coming unstuck and that is a release kind of like a a liberation so is it working out those karmic lessons and cycles is that around what is it around a person a place a thing it's here and that's releasing here and i like that too because you know it's this energy with judgment in reverse that there's they haven't been ready and i don't think it's it's happening that it's happening like this overnight but when it happens, it'll be really fast. And I just feel like this is gonna be a really intense conversation. So what is going on here? Oh yeah. Okay, so the King of Pentacles in reverse. Wow, and the Tower card, really interesting. Never love seeing the Tower card, do we? But there's a reason for it. And I'm gonna tell you, it's really quite strong. This is about this is about being honest and getting to the root of the issues. And what are they? Well, the King of Pentacles is in reverse here. So it was not, there's like a lack of follow through, I want to say, maybe even some jealousy around that. And this is literally getting that. This is moving forward here and getting, being honest and getting to the root of the issues. This is Cancer energy, Virgo. It's also moon energy. And I'm putting it here, look, because that's also connecting. You may have had a tower moment. And I got to tell you, I don't think that there's necessarily going to be a tower moment here. There could have been one for you. What does that mean for you, you know? But it is going to be an intense conversation. It's like really getting to the root of the issues. And it's connecting here with the magician card, which is alchemizing all that. So it's not just like magic. It's all coming together. Look, every you know, obviously there's love here. There's an offer coming. It's just pretty intense. There's a lot of, a lot of love, a lot of 
proposal new beginning energy can be again really big proposal energy but there's a lot still to be worked out i mean you can see it it's going to be intense i feel and it's around this king of pentacles energy too virgo ruled by mercury energy you know because the king of pentacles here look is holding that scepter also connecting us to the empress and that's well yeah the power of life being having this being able to grow things you know and and then develop them here with the grapes this is the journey of love for me here with this fortress this castle i want to say and of course it's all around that and it's holding the pentacle which is the commitment energy you know and around that energy and it's in reverse and it came here with the tower card so it's getting to yeah i'm just connecting here look in their energy with the queen of cups it's getting to the root of all these issues here and for some of you this will be in person for a lot of you it's going to be like through maybe email or sms or you know on the phone or something like that you know social media and it can move to seeing each other or could just be that you do because things are changing here and they're on the move here they're on the move here it's cancer and energy it, again it's a change you know it's an action taking an action here and that action well look we can see it um it's you had to get through the sphinx you know to the riddles in order to get for things to change here in the chariot energy and that's obstacles and you have to tell the riddles so are they getting the the answer of what they need they're working on it yeah i think it's pretty getting pretty darn close and it's also a balancing of the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies and it's the moon energy it's around all the emotional energy you know it's cycles so it's a timing issue too and it's quite revealing and opening up and communicating here it's like i said i feel like it's a pretty intense conversation and or meeting that's coming up but virgo it's clear that there's a lot of love here and there is a decision that's going to be made on both sides not only from your person but together both of you because this came in we saw it it came back so this is a decision that you're both making here it's like the strength of two where do you want to go from here because you're both here in that energy and you're both aware and obviously in thinking about everything that happened this exchange here and the magician but there might be like i said some this conversation might be kind of intense if it have you if they haven't already had that or maybe it's again you know but it's getting to the root of the issues and then making this decision together wow okay so i'm bringing in some oracle today interesting because i'm shuffled i'm going to move it some more uh, but look what's at the bottom of the deck it's the truth be told this is a strong connection to justice for me um, of course but look at the owl connection to the divine and owl is a scorpio by the way and it's all about inner transformations you know and of course wisdom and receiving those messages and saying okay look here it's time i want to be honest so it can be that this communication whether it's in person or through a message takes place um nocturnally i want to say in the night it doesn't mean that it is but it is a pretty strong connection for me the interesting thing is owls kind of like they check themselves when they get oh. to i don't know where that ended but i caught it i gotcha they're they kind of like to work behind the scenes is what i was saying but they're also really loyal to their their owl you know they're very focused on food you know and it's kind of like yeah they're just really focused on food and they're they're very um they can be oh, what's that word I'm, I'm looking for let's loyal to their person you know kind of just see you and this is coming in here look above the mask and it's open there are hearts flying everywhere and being honest it's the truth coming and it's really clear that they love you is that what they're bringing and what else because they have a lot to say and it might be intense to hear too some of this truth because you can see that it, it might be involving an intense conversation here and it's a long time coming though i feel yeah and that five of course is connecting us to change 
changing everything. It's conflicting energy. This truth is going to, there's something that's going to be coming around that we can see. Wow. Okay. And by the way, I want to tell you that um, we're going to be moving it around some more as well. And I'm not reading oracles in reversal. Just, I don't know, not right now, not today. It's just not what I'm feeling. So in any case, that truth might be, yeah, attached to some conflicting energy, but ultimately changing things. And it's really connected, of course, to the fifth chakra, and that's the communication. The treasure island here, look at that. This turtle carrying the treasure and still floating. The stars coming out, the fate, the, the renewal coming through. There's the star right there. Look, the hearts. This is love coming in for me. And nine, of course, is about attainment, fulfillment, things coming to fruition. It's not as slow as a, an earth turtle, although interestingly, turtles go on the land to kind of lay their eggs and stuff. And of course, they might be getting distracted. The, 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 the cycles of the moon, of course, the emotional energy sort of changing how the, the, the tide is moving. So maybe they're kind of moving here and there. There's elements underneath here too, you know, probably some predators and things that might try to take the turtle down who's trying to get to their destination here. Look, their treasure box going, heading for Treasure Island, what they want. Look at this and this coming in for you. And I'll talk about the chop wood in a, in a moment. Um, but also ships, you know, um, being there that could sometimes accidentally bump and harm the turtle or it's hungry and it goes to land and then maybe falls over on its back and needs help getting up. So it's not an energy of really fast and it's not an energy of really slow. It's just kind of like going with the flow and the timing. It's the timing thing here going on, but carrying, look, also a star, starfish here. And that is infinite possibilities, but it's also making something work that wasn't, and it's starfish, you know, it's a star. The faded connection, the hope for the renewal, the wishful energy. And it lives in the divine, of course. Chop wood coming through as well is this sort of like they say if you, to find peace, chop wood. And then it's like enlightenment. To, and then it's like chop wood. It's just keep, it's like getting back to the basics and the simple things here. Because there's a lot of intensity that I feel here, but there's a lot of love as well. And there's a lot of messages for coming back in and yeah there's a lot to be said for just going back to the basics the chopping the wood and the things that worked the things that didn't work wood is really it's really zen energy here today and it's a really like you you just go and you got your what is that boy I'm just having all kinds of brain farts today to cut the wood you cut the wood you cut the wood you just keep going you get into a meditative state and there's a broom here as well, which is bringing in, look, there's a star hanging off of it. It's sort of like, come and, it's like here, look, the divine is shining on it. Saying, come and get this, this broom. Look, there's buckets here for cleaning as well. Looks almost like it's been cleaned up. It's kind of bringing in the cleanup card, you know, which is like working things out and bringing everything up that needs to be brought up. I know, you know, which can be intense, but it's also a really strong message. You know, it's like here for you if you want it, that broom. You can go there and sweep up and, yeah, it's bringing up a lot. But you have the cleansing energy here of the water and the emotional energy and connection connection to the divine. And that's the cleansing, the cleansing of it. So when you're cleaning, of course, things are coming up and you're seeing things you don't want to see. And there are things that you forgot about. And as with the cleanup card, I'm wondering if it's going to come in. I want to show you um, what's at the bottom of the deck here. This, you know, kind of like finding, finding quarters, you know, in the sofa, quarters in the couch, that sort of feeling of what else that you forgot was there that was that, you know, it's valuable to this connection and things that no longer serve their purpose that were just there for too long and they just disintegrated or you know, they're just not savable, you know, when you find things under the couch. So it's that energy of communication and the things and the love language between the two of you and what was working between two worlds coming in. For some of you, it might literally be uh, regarding your twin flame. Again, that's not for everybody, but it is, this is about timing and that's been pretty clear here. 
divine number, divine timing, communication growth, and coming here and making that decision, you know, because this is, look, it's celebratory energy, the crown chakra, of course, listening to those messages, higher power, spiritual messages from the divine. And it's a celebratory energy. And that crown, of course, is the crown chakra too, working out, connecting to the sun energy and working things out. And it's coming here, look, and it's like working out all the duality, you know, and the balancing of the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy. So that's really clear. I'm going to move the energy some more now. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. 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 <laughs> Come to the edge. Okay. And this is well, this is also calling to me, calling to you, I should say. And yeah, that is where we're going to stop for now. We'll look at them in just a moment. This has been coming in, I almost feel like every reading in the last days since I have pulled out my oracle again. And I've missed it, by the way. And for those of you that have been here for a long time, you've probably missed it too. So I'm happy to be back in here. But this has just been so uh, yeah, coming in a lot. And it's like that, it's things coming to fruition here. Here, of course, that coming to a nine. And just this energy of coming together, like a lure that is here. So there is a little bit, there is an element of, you know, what do you want here? Because it's it's pretty, there's not a lot of space here, you know, but more than enough. And throwing off the, the hearts, it's sort of like, follow me, you know, come to the edge. So what is going on in this connection that makes this a little bit risky, perhaps? You know, that's kind of an energy that's coming through. And look, it is connecting with the tower energy there. So these are the last two coming through. This has also been really interesting. I kind of feel like I want to channel another one. It's 44. It's angels are with you. Yeah, so these downloads that you're getting or that are coming in here, trust yourself is a really strong message. It's a master number 44, and it's that connection to angels, and it's really connecting also to intuition that things are coming and changing and your guides are working and to trust your intuition here because there, obviously there's the thinker energy of thinking about where are we going from here and this is an energy the no place like home of it's been another really popular popular an energy that's just been keeps coming in you know of coming back together and just feeling like oh, this feeling good coming back together it's representing everything really it's the subconscious and the conscious too like what's on the outside what is in the inside well look at all the light on the inside you know and so things are changing here and it's coming back together in this place that feels good and that I feel like that's all around the communication and the truth here and just hearing that so even for some of you that maybe want to move on which is not strong for me but you never know you know it's really not up to me of just, yeah, feeling good to get to hear some things and to have this conversation and to have some resolution. You very clearly love each other. We've had the lover's card here twice. Of course, we have the two of cups here. Um, sorry, things just start to get covered no matter what. Can't really help it. <laughs> but, you know, that's an energy of change and coming out of that conflict. And it's also communication, the fifth chakra and communicating the throat chakra, which, of course you're connected to Mercury, Virgo, you know, about communication here and working out all those details. It's kind of like, it's like a Virgo energy for me in many ways. And I'm married to a Virgo, by the way, so I, I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> I'm a Cancer son. I don't know if I've ever shared that. Well, I think I've shared it a lot, but maybe something some of you have not heard. Anyway, it's that kind of energy of, of the details, you know, of just sim some things that may seem simple and little that are going to be really important. Um, to hear and to talk about in this connection. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, yeah, I want to channel one more and then I'm bringing in some channeled love messages. Okay, well, I didn't need to, um, I didn't have anything fall out because I was told to look at the bottom of the deck and that's what this is. This is kind of going all the way. Look, it's the um, wild cat here just running. Look, there's the stars here to the finish line. That's an 11 here. 
is 47. That's new beginnings. That's union. That uh, can be, you know, how do you see that for you? But it's new beginnings. And that 11, of course, is a two as well. And that's the two of you. And that's balancing out those energies, the yin yang energy. And coming from that place of honesty and being able to have this communication, even when it gets difficult. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Uh, what more can I say? This is just uh, a really clear reading for me today. I'm going to keep the whole deck here. And I'm bringing in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. And then we're going to close your reading today, Virgo. Ooh. Sorry, that was kind of loud. So sorry I ran. Somebody here was leaving the connection physically and or I want to say emotionally, mentally. So there's an apology and that's coming here with truth be told. I love you. That is not surprising in the very least. The lover's card here twice. The two of cups. I dream of you. It's Pisces energy. And whoa, here is uh, somebody sending hug. I really like this too. I kind of feel like this is here actually. Look with the clouds, with the turtle, who can be slow. You know, land turtles and water turtles are a little bit different. I want to say, yeah, the water turtle's faster, of course. The land turtle connecting us to that earth energy is slower, slow moving, actually, the slowest moving energy. So it's like I said, it's not fast, it's not slow, it's divine timing, it's going with the flow. Sending a hug and a kiss here. Look, lover's card energy, two of cups energy. I wish you were mine. There's more of that energy here. That's come to the edge. Forgive me, apologetic energy. Yeah, and you know where it wants to go? It's the king of cups or pentacles, excuse me. Ooh, king of cups as I talked about that energy of holding back some emotions and feelings. But the King of Pentacles connecting with the Queen of Cups. That's right. Interesting. You're both here. And that, yeah. They're asking for forgiveness. And <laughs> I spy on you. That's the, that's the Page of Swords energy of watching and kind of waiting to take this action. And, you know, just looking in. What is this? Hearing things from friends or family, social media. What is that? I kind of want to put it, yeah, here. And this is the last love message. Be mine. Be mine. I made these for you for Valentine's Day, but it's not obviously that we can just read them at Valentine's Day. So that is Valentine's Day early here, Virgo. Be mine. I'm putting that here too. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. I think that, there we go. Virgo, it's been my total honor to channel for you. I really enjoyed your reading very much. And I hope you did too. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you liked today's video and subscribe to the channel, to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Really keeps the channel moving. So thank you so very much for that. And it goes without saying thank you for joining me today and keeping the channel moving and watching and supporting I love you very much and I appreciate it. I'm very happy to channel for you and happy that you are here. I'm sending you so much love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, bye Virgo.